So it's 78 and it's super nice. This is like the nicest day we've had so far. And I'm going to clean my car and it's really overdue. Like I have shit. Well, I just came from the post office. So I have these two boxes. Maybe I'll do a haul because I have no idea what's in them. And you should see my trunk. I'll show you my trunk. So I'm going to put them actually in my makeup room on the windowsill because I hate real flowers, but I like fake flowers. So they're plastic and it just moves back and forth um, when the sun's out. And then this one is super cute. It's a little Hello Kitty. And again, it's just a little flower. So yeah. I think they were cute. I like anything weird. If it's weird and you don't see it normally, it's probably in my house. This is pretty much embarrassing. This is my trunk of my car. And I have all kinds of shit in here. A lunchbox. All kinds of stuff. Uh, my nan gave me this rock. Hello. Amanda Stapleton, that was my maiden name. Allegheny River, Catanning, 1988. And I was age six. I thought that was cute. I'm going to keep that. I guess I picked this rock out and gave it to my nan. Hello. That was a nice gift. Hello, so I'm going to keep that. Hello. Hello, Hello Aspen. Are you going to help me clean my car? You are? I think pretty much this shirt is yours. Nope, this is Jay's. Oh my god, my husband sticks weird stuff in here. Training wheels, which I had no idea. Here, Kevin, these go in the, ho in the house. Oh my god, okay. he has all kinds of stuff in here. I did just get this cake pan. It's kind of neat. My car is like, this is embarrassing. It's like a hot mess. But anyway, it's like just a cake carrier thing. My other one actually melted because I turned. It was in my um, oven, and yeah, that was in there, and nobody looked, so it melted. But this was seven dollars, so that was super cute. What else is in here? All kinds of. Oh wow, all kinds of stuff. Jeans. I always keep extra clothes, like clothes for the kids and me. Um, just in case because we're always over here and we're not moved in yet so I always have random stuff yeah so I just picked this up I don't think it was in a haul support breast cancer which I love and of course it's pink it's an igloo cooler it's just a little cube one it's the ice cubed size and um, yeah Pringles Mountain Dew and juice boxes and just a little ice pack, which doesn't do much of anything. So, yeah. Anyway, this came from Family Dollar, I think. I never go in there, and I seen this actually in the window. I tweeted about it. So I had to go in and buy it. It was $15, I think. Everybody's like, house tour. It's not done yet, guys. Put my little flowers here. How cute is that? There's my husband's, oops. There's my husband's new car that he just bought. I'll go show you what it looks like up close. I'm so excited I got to wear shorts today. Love it. Okay, here's my husband's car. It's a Trans Am, it's an older one. He used to have one of these, oh my God, long time ago when we first got together, but it, it was newer when it first came out. This one he just got to buy and resell. It has T-tops on the top. That's his little toy. Were you climbing in my trunk? Huh? I raided the kids' Easter basket. Oh. What are you doing? Kevin. 
Looking at me because I record you all the time. Yeah. You like being on YouTube. I wanna. Yes, you can have my peep. No, take it from the middle to get this one. Uh-uh. Yeah, grab that little guy. Two one. Go ahead. Good? Wow, your face is already all dirty. You look like a dirt ball. Huh? You giving me one? Oh, I love it. Thank you. Believe it or not, my trunk isn't as bad as what I thought it was, but I found my beach bag. It's a little flamingo, and it reminded me I'm going to do a DIY on like a metal flamingo for like outside, but I have to find all the parts. Like I have it in my mind. I'm sure my husband has all, everything that I need, but it's going to be really cute, I think. So that'll be sometime soon. I got a car pack of my favorite gum. This raspberry sherbet ice cubes is amazing. And since nothing else will fit in these cup holders, other than change and gum and lighters back there, I decided to get one for my car. So yeah. I just got this in the mail. Kevin has unexcused absences for five days. Like, are you kidding me? I gave him all the excuses. So now I'm going to have to deal with these people. It's pretty lame. I put this big blanket, like, over the shelf in my trunk. I don't know if you can tell. It's a boring, like, little shelf. Oh, here. I have these. I got these actually at a yard sale. I don't know if the sun's too bright. Um, but they're just little plastic pieces with like cardboard on the back of them. Um, this is gonna be a DIY. Obviously I'm not gonna use them for the dogs, but I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six of those, and those are gonna be some kind of wall art. So I'm gonna make them actually into shadow boxes. So that's gonna be a DIY. Anyway, I gotta sweep out my trunk yet. And these are the only things going back in. Three bags, which isn't bad. This one's clothes. This one's um, summer stuff like sunscreen and stuff like that. And then this one is air fresheners and like my GPS cords and all kinds of different cords and stuff. So yeah, that's what I keep in my trunk. It's a little extreme. Oh, I have a little makeup bag too that I keep back there. It's a little extreme, but I feel like I have to be organized for everything. Everybody makes fun of me, but when I need, when they need something, 99% of the time it's in my car or my purse. So whatever. I know smoking's bad, but they send me coupons for 75 cents off. And I must admit it's hard not to use them. So last month it was a dollar fifty off. So now I'm down to 75 cents, which is kind of disappointing, but whatever. I'll put them in my car. I never spend change. Normally all three of these are filled with change, but I got it down to only one. And then I just use it for like parking meters or when I very rarely wash my own car. Normally my husband's pretty good at washing my car. Thanks hubby. And I keep change there and in this one pocket in my purse. And this is only from like a week. And it's like, I hate change, like seriously. Normally we save it and then at the end of the year we just cash it in and have like really a couple thousand and change for Christmas shopping. So that helps. So yeah, still cleaning my car. Look how gross this is. Ew, I never clean my car and that's really disgusting. Okay, so I have a bad lighter obsession and then when I get to the house, I have no lighters inside. There's four lighters there. And are you ready for how bad this is? In my door, there are... I don't know if you can tell. I don't know how many lighters in there. Tons of lighters, which is unreal. And then some kind of random nail file. I have these that I got at a Pet Boys haul. And I'm gonna put them on my car right now. Okay, so I counted all of my lighters in my door 
and sadly I have 13 in my door and four in my cup holder. So that's a little bit crazy. Then I have some hairspray, my nail file, baby wipes, tissues back there, and my insurance stuff and just random cards and shit that I never took out of my car. I'm so bad. It's horrible. Okay, so I ended up putting my little metal things, it rained, so it's like wet, but on my gas tank, and then one right here. Oh, then I don't know if you guys seen these. It's like dark out, but our little family. It's super cute. Okay, so if you're on my Facebook, you know that I spray painted today. And, like, I have a bit of an obsession, I guess, with spray painting lately. It's kind of weird. But anyway, I finished painting all of my black signs. So thank God those are all done. And I'm going to put those up, actually, right now. And then if you watched, uh, I can't remember what haul it was, but I got this birdcage, actually, at uh, Michael's. And it was, like, 60% off. And this is, like, hot pink. It's not showing up. But I think I'm going to have to paint it with, like, a brush a little bit better because I did this all spray paint um, and then I painted this cage black and one of my subscribers said to put a candle or something in here so I'm gonna be doing something with it I just don't know what I'm gonna put in there yet but it was a really ugly like vintage looking cage and it just wasn't my style so that's more me and then I got these actually at the Dollar Tree they're like giant paper clips and I painted, they were silver and I just painted them hot pink and I'm just going to put little paper clips actually storage um, for my paper clips on them and I guess that was my idea. Okay, since this, this vlog I guess is more random than most of my random vlogs, I figured I would just throw this in here. I have one of these actually on the back of my door. Um, this is just a mini one. I have different ways to use these stupid little cork boards or memo boards, I guess this one's called. This is a 12 by 8, so it's kind of small, but it's kind of like cute. Then I got this little, I don't know what they call these, handkerchiefs, bandanas maybe. Um, this is just like a standard size one. I got this actually at Dollar General, which I never, ever, hardly ever go in there. And I'm going to start going in there because sometimes they have cute stuff. Anyway, I got this there. You can get it really probably anywhere, even just a piece of fabric the same size of whatever size of memo, memo board you're using. And we're just going to wrap it like a, like a present, like you would a present. And then just wrap it, and then I'm going to use, if I can flip it over, um, thumbtacks, like the flat ones, to hold my fabric onto the back. And then you'll have like a cute little memo board. But, um, you know, you can put your little thumbtacks or whatever on it, but it's a lot cuter than how ugly these are. I think these are so ugly, but this is going to be... Okay, this is actually a pretty big one. This is, I think, the biggest one you can buy. So it looks like that. I don't have a lot going on, really, right now. Normally, I have my bills, which is nice because they must be all paid up. I just have random pictures. She's going to kill me, but that was my niece. A couple years ago, I don't know, that's my sister or my husband's girlfriend's kid. And box tops, I always save. Sheets, coupons. Anyway, getting off the point, this is just fabric wrapped in, you know, on one of those cork boards. And then you can kind of just set your thumbtacks through like that. 